Hey friends, today we are looking at some bags from Troubadour. Troubadour got started out in London, two American founders making bags out of leather, but now their bags are made out of, these ones are all vegan. They're, even the, le the leather on here I think is like fake vegan, some of it, not all of it, let me see. But they make great bags and backpacks for the office, fancy looking stuff that also is good to use, and things like this little tech pouch, I cannot wait to get into this. I'm gonna show this to you in a second. Very clean lines, environmentally friendly-ish materials, water resistant fabrics and zippers, electro molded seamless back panels that all have this uh, pretty robust luggage pass through with some contoured straps and everything is five year, five year protection against the, uh, the manufacturer defects. Thanks Troubadour. Okay, the first bag I wanna show you is this one. This is their Apex. The Apex from Troubadour comes in at 25 liters, around 2.2 pounds, $245. It's a very sleek look, feels feels refined. It's got a padded sleeve for a 16 inch laptop and some internal tech organization. There are two water bottle pockets that fit my 750 milliliter Camelback chute just fine. Bag's also available in a more compact version. Now I have this thing loaded out. It's 25 liters, it's quite large actually. The bottom chunk of it is my camera cube, which I can fit my Canon EOS R. That's the bottom section here. And then on top of that, and you can see the way this fabric moves, okay? It's got a nice like density to it, like a thickness to it. This is a nylon and canvas weave. All of their materials are water resistant. These bags are not leather, but their original bags were leather and they figured out a way to make leather water resistant as well. Inside the bag, I've got like a book that I'm reading, Trauma in the Unbound Body. Judith Blackstone is a badass with some great meditative techniques. Get into it. Now a little boundary supply pouch, which keeps a bunch of like spare tech things with me. Look at how much space there is here. Just that's on top of my camera cube, which is this one from whether they were called banana or something like that. I don't know. It's just perfect size for my for my Canon EOS R. Now I've got my 16 inch laptop in here. One of the things you're going to notice, you've got this lip. So when you're pulling your laptop out, that's one area where you're just going to find a little bit of pinch. This also has a zipper here where I've put my iPad Pro 11 inch. Then there's some other admin panel type stuff here, including a a, like an elastic bit right here, which is perfect size for your phone, a pen thing. Very minimal and clean. This whole thing, the whole experience of this bag is very, very clean. Got another zippered, meshy pocket. We're using a water sealed zipper over here. I feel like that might get in the way. It's just a little bit harder to move than it could be, and obviously, you. It's the pocket is made out of mesh. You don't need to be protected from water there. But this liner is like satiny. Feels really nice. You got a quick access pocket here on the outside. Perfect size. Just about a little bit, just about the size of my hand. I got my glasses, my mask, and my AirPods Pro in there, right? That's your external access on the bag. That's it. Besides the water bottle pockets, that is it. So that's your grab and go. But this zipper has actually been pretty easy to move. You see, get a little bit of, it's gonna break in a little bit. But the reason why it's a little tough to move is because it's got that water sealed zip on there. This whole thing and all of the bags you'll see from them today, definitely solid water resistance. They actually have a DWR treatment that you can add more to over time if the water's starting to be absorbed by the fabric you can add more. That's the care instructions for their materials. Very comfortable bag. You're gonna feel it when it's on. These straps almost have a, a concave to them. They're thin, they're narrow. They're not like straps you've seen on any other bags, most likely, because they're totally custom. I, I haven't seen any straps quite like these. They got a nice little bit of rigidity to them, but not too, too much. I could see some people complaining about you know, it not being soft enough or something like that, but I personally really like this. This feels like you're locked in and loaded for bear. Also, the end of their straps have a nice little C-clamp so you can, you can like, you know, click it here 
and it won't dangle down. Then there is the Adventure Slipstream coming in at 21 liters, 2.76 pounds. It is spendy coming in at over $400. Why does this come in at $400? I don't know, but I'll be honest, I actually do really like this design. Very simple, your classic backpack design, a three-dimensional pouch on the front. That's my quick access, right? Easy. I like that these zippers are not taped, right? On the back, you have a zipper for the laptop compartment, which does have a little lip, but it is very tasty, tastily designed. So you can get straight to your laptop. This zipper, again, does have a little lip to keep some of the water out, but that zipper back there is not water sealed as well. This on the front, much bigger, chunkier zip. I really like this. It moves really easy and smooth, and that to me is something that I'm doing probably several times in my day, right? So to be able to have something that has that big horseshoe style, and you see how this comes at a little bit of an angle, coming up, it keeps the structure out here. Pretty seriously badass design going on over there. This is how I have this one packed out, okay? You can see, again, the book, the pouch, all right? And then the camera case underneath that, right? And then back here, you have you don't have your laptop compartment back here. You're not seeing the laptop. The laptop's a totally separate space than this. So you have a zippered compartment, and I do kind of wish that this lining right here was a little thicker because that's where I want to put my iPad for sure. And it does have similar those big chunky metal zips, and I feel like that's a little overkill personally, though it does move so smooth. It doesn't quite feel right. Not enough padding, not enough, and I think a lot of people would put their tablet in here. So for me, in use, I'd probably be putting my tablet. You can see this little lip. It's nice. It's got a little piece of faux leather on the top of it. I'll, put, I'll probably be putting my tablet back here with my laptop on the outside of that sleeve. Then inside here you also have some uh, admin sort of like pouches, like little places to put things. Just simple with another one of those elastic places that's perfect for your phone and a meshy pocket here with again that metal zip teeth thing which is nice. Again, these move really smooth. They're like fashion zippers. You ever seen those, like the metal, chunky fashion zippers? So this one comes in at 21 liters instead of 25, but I was able to fit the same amount. No water bottle pockets on the outside. I think it's a little, quite. it's quite a bit more expensive on the website when I looked, which is sort of interesting to me, but honestly, I would prefer this one. Again, all of these bags are suitable. You know what I'm saying? Backpacks that you can wear with a suit. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Some of us have been searching for that for a long time. Some of us have been finding things, but then you kind of like, ah, not that into it. These all feel to my hands like, like I would really like to use these. Do you know what I mean? Every day, especially to me, this one, because I like this little pocket. I get a little zipper stickedness coming closed. You see that? I don't like that gotta be gentle, just slightly gentle. If I use two hands, it ends up working fine. So it's not like, it's just as these zippers are getting getting broken in. These are the kinds of zippers, because they're all metal, they don't have any of it, like fashion zippers, Louis Vuitton style. But I just love a 3D pocket like this on the front of the bag, my one quick access. It actually does have some organization in here, some elastic organization, glasses, mask, AirPods, right? Right there. Just as few things as necessary, but your most essential quick access items. Because everything else is living inside the bag. And I just think this thing looks super cute. You get closer to it, you're like, Jesus, dude, that thing's fancy. What, do you, what is that thing? Now, these handles on both of these bags so far, Megusta, huge, huge hoop that you just reach down and grab. These are, I am led to believe, a faux leather, so it's not real leather. These, I like these uh, so much, you guys. I don't know if you know this, but like, you use the handle so much in life. And guess what? 
the older you get, the more I use the handle. The, le the less likely I am to go, huh, and do all of that thing. I've just, I've got a kid in one hand, a sweater over my shoulder, and I'm just carrying this out to the car like that. I'm coming into the cafe. This is just at my feet. I'm holding on to it, you know? This ends up feeling like a, like a, a, a part of my body, whether it's on or I'm holding it by the handle. And uh, I really like these handles. I've got nothing in it except for my laptop and it's standing up. This is like nice, robust material, the same material on the bottom as they have up here. So hopefully this stuff is nice and abrasion resistant and it can last a really long time. But this, this is quite a, a like an heirloom piece, I would say. I would say that, I'm not, I know this is not antique road show or nothing like that. You know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a fancy guy. This ain't even a pawn shop. You know, I don't know why I'm doing this accent for a antique road show. I guess because, you know, my wife and I, we found this in, in my aunt's closet and I just, I, I can feel that it's valuable. But seriously, the heirloom quality of these things is killer. Like the kind of thing that it just gets better and better over time is my hunch. And if you're really into that, you should check out their leather bags. Even though they would be they would be heavier, these are these are you know not too heavy but comfortable. I like these things. Okay, a couple more, and then the tech case. First of all, this bivy tote. It is a backpack and tote. Twenty liters, two point two pounds, coming in at two hundred and twenty five dollars. It's made from a durable waterproof nylon. This is their waterproof nylon, and it's kind of nice. It's got a nice little texture to it. Nice tight. Weave. Okay, so a tote pack. Here I've put away one of the straps. So you can see like the straps completely go away. And when you pull those things out, I like that they have this little leather tab down here because that helps you to actually shove that in and it's gonna stay in there. That actually is brilliant. They use the same clip that we used at Packed when I designed a travel backpack with Pact. If you haven't seen that, it's one of the best travel bags on the market. Hi, my name's Chase Warman Reeves. I do YouTubes about bags <laughs> for a living. And one of the best bag manufacturers, Pact, reached out and was like, let's do, anyways, link below at this time code to that because we used the same thing. Did you see that? I just strapped that in. I just clicked it in. This comes apart into two pieces. That goes there, this goes here. When you're done, you just slide it right through and click it. Obviously backpack straps on a tote make for those, you know, when you've got to do, when you're not in like high society fashion mode, I'm carrying my tote. You're just in like utility mode. I'm just getting to where I'm going. Now they say this is 20 liters and, the other, and this one was 21 and this one a little bit taller, 25. This is a big 20 liters. I mean, I fit, again, all of these have fit the same thing. I got my camera cube in here. I got the book. I got the tech pouch. I got my laptop. I got my tablet and my quick access pocket. Your quick access is here. You've got one zipper, pulls down, and then this whole panel all the way across is a pocket. So you don't want to put too much in here because you can be fishing for it. Right? Two water bottle pockets, right? And then a little secret pocket right here, which is perfect size for your passport. Okay, our tote straps. One of the things that I had heard about this bag is for some people, this is not a big enough, long enough sort of distance to get their arm through. For me, it ends up being perfect. And this strap up at the top feels like, you know, good little handles. Obviously, these handles aren't gonna stay up. So you're gonna gather these together. Every time you pick this up, you're gathering them, right? Now, at the top of this bag, you've got a water sealed zip. That is useful. It is a bigger number 10 size zip, but it is water sealed and it feels great. The zip pulls feel good. They're like a faux leather tab, just big chunky you can grab and grip it and rip it. And then you've got a ton of space in here, again, my book, my pouch with my essential kit in it, my f camera case thing is fitting down there. This is just like, you know, you can see the size of it so you can compare it to your own life and think your, what, your lunchbox is probably similar size or something. So when this thing isn't totally filled up, it's kind of nice and casual. It feels nice. I think it looks 
looks really good, but it's it's definitely the 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 drape of the material. It's a little more formal than a lot of other totes you'd see. And honestly, this material seems quite robust, like the weather resistance and the scuff resistance and all that stuff. I think you're probably gonna really like the way that this treats you from that perspective. Inside, you've got the same thing where it's a laptop in the back, slightly pulled up off the bottom of the bag. Then you've got a zippered pocket, which is perfect for my tablet right there. Same admin panel that you've seen now several times with some elastic down here, a little meshy bit up at the top or on the, on the front panel with a zipper. And then just a bunch of space. Actually a super roomy bag. You could fit all um, your uh, if you had to uh, if you had to bring like say you had to bring like a like a ton like a bunch of uh, um, your papers. Business papers, man. You'd be able to fit a bunch of those in there. Manila envelopes, just full of... Tons of business papers in here, man. Lots of stuff. I'm surprised how roomy all of these bags have been. They have such a shell look to them, right? They have such a simple sort of like, oh yeah, that's just a le that's just like my little uh, fancy little suitable rocket pack. Yeah, it's, oh, what's that? This is like a a a, a hat a, a nod to the uh, to the golden days uh, back at the back at the boys' school <laughs> when I learned what my body can do, right? It's just simple, but it ends up having a bunch of space. I'm kind of surprised by these bags. I mean, it shouldn't be 20 liters is 20 liters, but these are very functional because it's an elegant amount of organization in here, which is why this next one is actually really interesting to me. Now, the Ridge backpack, which is 25 liters, 2.8 pounds, a little bit heavier, $295, sort of an industrial, tactical, chic look. Obviously, what we've got different here is these three external, three-dimensional pouches here. The material is all rigid enough so you can get these zips one-handed. This main zipper, you can see we've got this like angular thing again, which keeps this front like structure going. Two retractable water bottle pockets here. Also on this, as you're wearing it against your right side, another passport pocket right here. These kinds of pockets are, I basically don't use them because it's tight and it's flat. I don't like to use that kind of stuff, but it can be nice when you have that kind of, I always need you, but I never want to see you, and I don't want you in my way kind of thing. Now, for me, I'm using this thing as the quick access, right? So here's my mask and my AirPods. I just love three-dimensional pockets like this. Then we have the main capacity, sort of open it up. We're gonna look at this in a second. And then on the back, just at the top, slightly going down these corners is our laptop, okay? And in here, you have, like you've seen before, the laptop compartment, which has a pouch. My 16-inch MacBook fits in there perfectly. And then I actually put my tablet in here as well. That is likely where also I would put... Or I could put business papers right in here, a little zippered compartment. That's where I've actually put my book. Again, you got that admin panel type of stuff, which I tend not to use that much, but some of you may love for like a battery or this, that, or the other. Here, out front, I actually put my power charger. I kept my power, char I, I used this RAV Power 2 USB GAN 80 watt power charger, which I love because I can charge my phone and my computer at the same time. The power is split between them, so I typically only have one plugged in at a time, but I like to have those extra cables. One lightning and one USB-C always plugged in. And that ends up fitting actually really nicely right here. So we've got that same admin panel here, same meshy thing you've seen, and then I have switched into the Troubadour 
Caboodle Tech case. Now, for comparison, here is the Peak Design Tech case, and you can see the size. This size I prefer to this thing. This is from my studio kit. It has all sorts of audio accessories that I might need, cables and things like that. Does this amazing, uh, uh, like, like accordion open up thing. We love this, but it's just big. It's a big old brick for in my everyday carry. I actually don't need that much stuff. This is a little more nicely sized and we've still got that sort of accordion organization thing. In fact, I can fit my my Sennheiser PXE 550s version two. Shout out to headphones.com for sending these. Headphones.com, 365 day return policy. I still love these. These are still so great. These fit perfectly right in there. And I've got all the cords and cables that I need for them, including the little dongles that I need for my MacBook Pro. This I can load up with a lot more stuff. It's just everything I need is right there. I can actually fit my power charger in there perfectly. I had that in there, but then I'm like, but what am I gonna put in these outside cute little pockets? I still don't have any, I couldn't figure out anything to put in here. I don't know, I don't know. You gotta, like, what would you put in this pocket? So this little caboodle case is actually a really killer option for your tech kit. It's softer than the Bellroy tech kit, which I is up to now pretty much my favorite because it's a little bit tighter, but I could not fit my headphones into my Bellroy tech kit. So this is not just a, a tech kit, it's like your organizer pouch plus because you do have actually quite a bit of space in here. One of these sides you can fit some pretty big stuff in. Then you've got a zipper on the outside, just a flat pocket, keeping anything separate there, and like a little handle over here, in case you wanna like carry this like a really cool dude. Hey, how's it going? I am cool. Troubadour, I've noticed, has like a lot of these little, little stitching bits, which are actually quite nice. Like they're funky, but it might just be for looks and I kind of like it. So this Ridge backpack, I, I was really excited to see this one from the website. I was like, yeah, if you can send that, send that too. Cause I just think it's an interesting look. But to be honest, I probably prefer, this right here is the one that's that's like got my, my vote for the most. I just like the simplicity. I love this big pouch out here. I love that the capacity in here, this doesn't quite have as much space as the other ones inside because we're cutting into that space to make these pockets. So, shout out to Troubadour. Thanks for making amazing stuff. You guys, I had a good time talking to one of the founders of this company, American guys that were living out in London. They started geeking out about who's making bags, where do they get made, and that was like years and years ago and they were making leather bags. Now these ones, not in leather, I think are, Leather bags can be quite uh, heavy and they can feel a little more like, all right, Indiana Jones, are you trying to sneak artifacts across an international border? This is a little more, a little more urban, a little more down to earth in some ways. But shout out to these Troubadour folks for sending these over. Holler at your boy. How you doing? Listen, I've got an announcement coming soon. I'm putting it out there. I've got an announcement coming soon. And you're gonna be announced to the announcement if you're on the email list at matterful.co. So please sign up there. You will also be entered to win some free stuff. Maybe I can get Troubadour to, uh, to put one of these in that, or maybe a few of these in that giveaway when we cross 100,000 subs here on the channel. If you don't know, what we're interested in here on this channel is great shit. Less but better, right? I know that can be a little cliche these days, you know, in these uncertain times. That can feel a little cliche, but listen, man, like I was talking about the pocket, the secret to life, I think it was Lao Tzu who said, don't put too much shit in your quick access pocket. <laughs> Living minimally is not about having few things, it's about having only the things that you need and taking good care of those things. These are the kinds of bags you will be incentivized to take good care of because you pay for that. You're paying for great designs, excellent execution, that five year manufacturer defect warranty, right? That kind of stuff, that beautiful hoop handle just sitting there waiting for you to say, where are we going today, boss? But that's what we're about here. And I gotta be honest, that sometimes you do have to buy a new pair of shoes 
in order to start running. Though, let's be honest, most of the time that you've been buying new running shoes, you've just been trying to get into running. You didn't really have it in your heart, right? But just know that sometimes those, those purchases need to be like made in order to enable something. You can't play guitar if you don't have a guitar, but you probably don't need a Paul Reed Smith, right? You probably don't need a Les Paul to get started. Though, some of you out there who've worked really hard, why shouldn't you be able to get a Les Paul? Get a fucking gold top, man. Get into it. So if that's what you're into, less but better, subscribe here and get on the email list at matterful.co because like I said, we're actually gonna do a huge giveaway when we cross 100,000 subscribers. We did that at 50, we did that at 75. We gave away thousands of dollars worth of stuff. So I'm stoked to do that. I'm glad these partners are all fired up. I'll get Troubadour to throw something in hopefully. Wandered, Peak Designs, like all your favorite bag makers, right? So get on the email list. And holler at your boy. Thanks for watching. Be yourself. Make good choices. I will see you there. Or I'll see you on another time. Bye-bye.